Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the day the Lord God Almighty has made. And we are to rejoice and remain glad in what God Almighty has made. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful. Uh, blessed viewers, we welcome you. We greet you from whichever part of the world you are, whichever part of the country that you are at. We, we greet you with the love of God. You are most welcome to uh, today's live broadcast service. We have beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, uh, we have beautiful, blessed uh, saints amongst us today. Uh, remember that uh, in the presence of the Lord, we are all children of God. So whenever you hear sounds that is being that is being made from the from the, from the background, understand that we have uh, we have beautiful audience. We have beautiful saints. We have blessed neighbors. Uh, we have blessed brothers and sisters. We are all children of God. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, greetings, uh, men and women of God. Greetings uh, to everyone, lovers of God. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful time that we are going to be having in the beautiful presence of our King. Uh, we thank God for making it possible for us to be here. Uh, and to continually uh, serving, uh, serving the King of Glory. Uh, we thank everyone as we are about to also go live right now on, on our other social media platform. Um, we bless the Lord God Almighty who has made it possible uh, for this day to become, uh, uh, to happen. Uh, we thank God for making this day to be possible for us. Uh, it is by grace that we are here today. Indeed, it's by grace. It's not by what we've done. It's not by what we've known. It is indeed by grace that we are here today. And such grace, we uh, we give thanks to God all, all the more for making it all become possible. Uh, Messiah greetings to you all. Messiah greetings to you all. Men and women of God. Messiah greetings to you all, family. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. We bless them the Lord. Uh, thank you for all who are just tuning in right now. Thank you for all those who are just uh, uh, making this appointment to be possible as you are tuning in from the various uh, social media platform that you are streaming, watching us from. Uh, we greet all those who are on TikTok. May the King of Glory bless you all the more. We welcome all those that are on Facebook. Uh, thank you, brothers. Thank you, sisters. Uh, thank you, men and women of God. Thank you for praying for us. Uh, thank you for strengthening us. Uh, thank you for carrying us in your hearts, and we trust that um, tonight, uh, today, uh, I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon, today, uh, we all will be blessed all the more, and we will continue to share in the riches of his glory. Uh, indeed, the glory of the Lord has risen, he has risen, and we thus have to arise in his glory. We have to what, arise in his glory, as the book of uh, Isaiah 60 says, Said the glory of the Lord has risen. So we are to arise in his glory. His glory remains unfailing. Everything else fails. But the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord that carries his glory can never fail. And there is no failure to those who are in his word. I, I, I like to uh, I welcome those who just tune in right now. The King of Glory bless you all the more. I, I remain Apostle Ken S.J. Chris of Rabbinites International Ministries. Uh, the son of Prophet Sekodane. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. As we are about to go on praying, as we are about to go on giving thanks to God Almighty, as we are about to go on thanking God for what He has done, uh, for His goodness, uh, for, for, for His word that remains unfading in our life. So we uh, encourage each and every one of you, our uh, blessed saints, 
from whichever part of the world that you are at, uh, to join us as we all about to pray. Uh, remember, we are praying to the unseen God who blesses us in the open. And we are equally also giving him thanks for all what he has been doing in our lives and for what he has done in our life and what he's still going to be doing in our lives. Uh, um, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither a son of man that he should repent. What God has said he will do, God will surely do. And God, as, as promised, is fullness unto us. His fullness. Get to understand what it means that his fullness, his fullness carry the full glory of the Father. And it's a promise that God has promised to his own. His own are those who honor him. His own are those who fear him. His, his own are those who reverend him. His those are those who remain in him. You remain in God in, in, in no matter what you are going through, no matter what you find yourself, you remain trusting in God. Those are those are the ones who are who are who are living according to his word, according to his unfailing glory. So right now, blessed saints, we all are going to be praying together. Uh, we all are going to be praying together. We are going to be giving thanks to God Almighty. Remember, uh, it is important for one to give thanks to God. It is, it is a command, a command. The book of First Thessalonians chapter 5, it says, give thanks to God for this is the command. Meaning, meaning it's according to the will of God. According to the will of God. Because God has done whatever it is that we are faced today. Whatever it is that we are going through today, God has done it. So let's give thanks to God. Even though one is yet to see it, even though one is yet to understand it, even though one is yet to comprehend it, get this, God has done it. God has finished it. God has finished whatever trouble that is in front of you. God has done whatever issue that is in front of you. God has done it. And by me doing it, he sent his only begotten son, our glorious master, Jesus Christ. And this is how Jesus said this. Before Jesus went to the cross, he made a statement. He made a word unto us. In the book of John 12, he says, if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, and where was he lifted up? He was lifted up at the cross. So on the cross of Calvary, Jesus was lifted up. So on that lifting, the name of the Father was glorified. The name of the Father was glorified. Because he says, if I be lifted up in this manner, if I be lifted up in the book of John 12, if I be lifted up, so also many, he will draw many to himself. He will draw many to himself. He will draw many to himself. And the, 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 the lifting of our master Jesus Christ, he paved way for us to receive the fullness the lifting of our master, Jesus Christ, he made the way where there seems to be no way. Because what had helped men, what had helped people, what has imprisoned people today, what has held many bound today, Jesus Christ had already paid the price. He defeated the enemy and his works. The works of the enemy and the enemy in itself the enemy itself and its works, meaning any vices, vices, meaning weapons that that enemy uses against Christian, against people of God, was long defeated. And that is why the book of Revelation 12 says this, we overcame the enemy. We overcame the enemy. Now, who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? Jesus, Jesus in, in the world says in the book of Revelation 12, we overcame the enemy with the word of our testimony and by the precious prevailing blood that was shared on the cross of Calvary. Now, we overcame the enemy. But the question remains, who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? And many people, many people, many people call their brother the enemy. Many call their sister the enemy. Many call friends enemy. Many call their colleagues enemy. Many point fingers at family members, at family relatives, at neighbors as their enemy. But the reality is the enemy, the enemy is, that is at work is unseen. But the enemy possesses people's body, people's mind, people's heart, people who avail themselves for the weapons of the enemy to be seen. Remember, the enemy, one can see the enemy with the eyes, but the enemy possesses a body that has availed itself. 
And how does a body avail itself? Wrong thoughts, evil thoughts, wicked thoughts, wicked hearts, such things, such things that is being done by a person is opening door for the enemy to come because enemy and his devices flourish in a heart that is dry. And how does a heart become dry? A heart that is not in meditation with the word. A heart that is not what in meditation with the word. You see, when one lacks the word, one becomes dry. No matter how you read the Bible, you are to meditate the word. No matter how you are engulfed in church, you have to what, meditate the word. You have to meditate the word. The word must be alive within us because the word of God in itself is the word that is alive. The word of God in, in himself is the word that is active. The word of God himself is the word that is full of power and authority. So if you read the word and you do not meditate the word, it is incomplete. You are yet to receive the fullness. Meditation of the word, because the word, it brings the things of God to reality. So what are the things of God? When Jesus Christ, our glorious master said, it is finished. It is finished, but one is here to see what was finished. One is here to understand what was finished. So the appearance of what was finished is here to be seen. The appearance of what was finished, you can appear as incomplete because you are here to understand what, what was said, that it is finished. When Jesus said it is finished, it means it is finished with that that come to steal. It means it is finished with that, that, that come to kill. It means it is finished with that, that come to destroy. This is the evidence, the evidence of it, the evidence of it has already been done by our master. So we that are living, we that are followers of our master Jesus Christ, we that were chosen of him, by him, and to remain in him, we are to live by that standard. We are to live by that standard. And how? By making sure that the world never lives in our heart, by making sure that the word never leaves our mouth, by making sure the word never leaves our mind. This was how Joshua became prosperous. His life prospers, his health prospers, his way prosper. Not just him, even Caleb. Caleb, who also worked with Joseph, worked with Joshua, his life also was prosperous. And how did they come about it? Because they held the reference to the word. And how did they receive the word? The word was told to them. It came by instruction. When Moses gave instruction, Joseph, uh, Joshua, I beg, I beg yes, Joshua held on to that instruction. Caleb held, held to that instruction. So let's be one who held to the word. Joshua chapter one, this is what the message was given to Joshua. He said, Joshua, my servant, do not let this word of mine to leave you not depart from you. Meditate on this word day and night. So let not do not let day passes without meditation. Do not let night pass it without meditation. So the more you are meditating, the more you are entering into the fullness of the Lord. So right now, blessed viewers, as we have been encouraged with this little word, we are going to be praying. We are going to be giving thanks to God. Remember, it, it is beautiful to, to, give, to give thanks to God. It is honorable to see the word of the Lord manifested in, in the, on, on this earth. Remember what the book of uh, uh, um, um, Psalms 24 says. It says, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to God. And now, those who are of God, God entrusts you on this earth. God entrusts the earth with you. So what does that mean? That you are called of God, that you are chosen of God. Remember, you did not choose him. John 15, John 15 verse 16, made it clear that you didn't choose me. God says, I chose you. I made you. Now, what God chose you, God made you. Now, God now made you. God now made you. This was the plan of God. This was the plan of God. Remember, in the beginning, God created man and place man in the garden, in the beautiful garden, in the beautiful garden. Now, we all knew, knew what happened with the, with, the, with, with, with the man that God created because he availed himself. Adam had availed himself. So what he availed himself, ushered in. It ushers in things, dead sorrows. Now, 
We that we are of God chosen, blessed saints. Now, we have been placed on this earth in the plan of the Father. In the plan of the Father. Now, what do I mean in the plan of the Father? Jeremiah 29, from verse 11. God says, I have thought, I have plans for your life. I have thought, I have plans for your life. Of prosper, meaning of well-being state of mind and not of evil. No, so now get that when, when, when the Lord says not of evil, it means we are living on earth that has evil. But the evil portion, God did not plan that for you. But now, how do you know that? Evil has dominion, but you have authority over that dominion. So now, 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 now. Now, if you have authority over that dominion, it means you exercise higher authority. It means, it means you exercise with higher glory. Because now, remember, it begins with the people of Israelite who were deemed and called the people of God. Now, Moses, whom God has appointed from birth, Moses birth, Moses birth, if you understand the mystery behind Moses birth, born by a Hebrew woman, but he was, he was taken into the palace, the palace of Egypt, where kings, kings of the earth, where they reign, where they, where, where they dominate, Joseph was taken into that palace from birth, and he was, he was brought up as a king to be. But not king of the earth. His operation, his operation team and his, his mode of his mode of operation was not based from earthly, earthly manner. But at the time when it was set for him to meet, make a, a, a meet with the Lord, at, at the time when it was set for the prayers of the Israelites to be to be uh, 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 to, to come into fulfillment, at that time. Moses was captured. Moses was was uh, 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 he was banished from the land, and where Moses went was where God was waiting for him. So all of that was the plan of God. But now, watch how Moses suffered. One who was raised to be a king, one who was raised in the palace of a king. But now, when the suffering came, he did not challenge the suffering. He, he went along with it. And he was even running, he was running from, from Pharaoh because Pharaoh said to him, the next time our eyes come in contact, it will be the end of, of his life. So Moses feared, feared Pharaoh. Moses feared that word. So that even motivated him to run far, to stay far from Pharaoh. But he never knew that it was all the plan of God waiting at the right time for it to come into fulfillment. He never knew that it was all the plan of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Now, let's have your before we, we are going to proceed shortly. We are going to proceed with prayers now. Allow me. Amen. We are going to proceed with prayer right now, Mr. Viewers. I want us to give thanks to God. And I want us to pray the prayer of saints in our community. Let's continue to pray for leaders. Let's continue to pray for the will of God. Let's continue to exercise that love the plan of God that he has done and give unto us. And, and, and understand that there is no amount of, of uh, there's no amount of things that anyone can do that God has not already done. So don't, don't allow the situation of, of your country, don't allow the situation of what is happening around you or in the whole world today to, to cause you to ask or to have a a, a, a different mindset towards God or to even begin to doubt the power of God. No matter, no matter the, the chaos, no matter the calamity, 
that has that that has uh, 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 that has taken over so many parts of this world. One thing is this: the word is sure. The word of God is sure. It, it, it has assurance. It has guarantee. It never fails. It never fails. So the more the saints keep giving thanks to God for what He has done, even though situation that is on the ground is staying otherwise, the more you are giving thanks to God, praying that His will be done. Remember, this world, this whole world, countries, nations is loved by God. John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world that He allowed, He permitted." His only begotten son to pass on for the sake of the love that God has for you, for the world. Because you are living in this world. You will not pray, you are not gonna pray for destruction to come on this world. And, 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 and you have in the mind that, um, that God will save you the way God saved Noah. Understand what happened in the case of Noah. God made a covenant with Noah to say. This destruction, he will do no more. He will do no more. Now, now God's own people will bring the love of God. There's, there's, there's nothing that is, there is nothing that the love of God cannot do. The love of God heals, heals the love of God saves. The love of God delivers, the love of God uh, 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 sets set free. The love of God saves. The law of God restore. So there is nothing too difficult for the love of God to do. So it is up to you, saint. It is up to you, believers. It is up to you, men and women of God, to pray for mercy of God on this earth. Mercy of God in our nation. Mercy of God upon countries that has taken upon themselves to see to the destruction of others' countries. Now there are wars that has emanated out of so many cities, out of so many countries. There are also situations that is ongoing in so many countries in Africa. Sudan, for instance. Sudan has been facing mass starvation. People are dying of hunger. People are dying of hunger. Yet, you have people who do not understand this. People who do not see this. So, you do not know the position that you are in. You do not know the position that you are in. When you get to, when you get to see what has been ongoing in so many lives, do you know how many millions of people who wants to be at the position that you are in today? Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God and pray for them. Let's continue to pray for all those that are sick on their body. Those who are in hospitals, there are many who no months go without them not visiting hospital and yet nothing right come true from their visitation. But something has been stolen from them. Pray for the love of God. For the love of God to restore their health, to restore their body, because God loved the world, and God has plan for His people that are in the world. And God says, "My plan for you, my thoughts for you are good. My plans for you is for your health to prosper, not for your health to fail. For your health to prosper, not for your health to fail. So God does not want your body to fail. God does not want your health to fail. God does not want you to fail in your ways. God does not want you to fail in your life. God does not want your marriage to fail. God does not want your business to fall. God does not want your ministry to fall. No. As a matter of truth, God wants you to prosper in every way of life. God wants you to prosper in every way of life. So your life will become prosperous when you begin to walk in the way of the Father. So we are going to pray right now, Mr. Viewers. We are going to intercede for the whole world. We are going to pray for the whole world. We are going to declare the, the outstretched mighty arm of the Lord over the earth, over all the face of the earth, over all the leaders. Pray for all the leaders. Remember, leaders that has the fear of God in their heart. Such leader we do according to the will of God. Such leader we live according to the will of God. Such leader we act in the way and manner that pleases God Almighty. Why? Because in their heart, they already has the fear of God. So no heal corrupt corruption or corrupted mindset will come in the mind or that will take over in the heart of that leader. Because that leader fears God. And you know what it says in the book of Proverbs? It says, 
The fear of God is a fountain, meaning the beginning of wisdom, of knowledge. So there are many leaders in this world who have such tendency because they have, they've dedicated them, their life to God. So they live in their way of God. So they begin to serve. And, and, and now who testify to the serving that these leaders are given? Those who are dwellers of those nations, those who are citizens of that nation. Why? Because they deem it necessary to pray for their leaders, to pray for their leaders. So let's continue. Let's continue to declare that every leader, when we, when we speak of leaders, we're talking about presidents. We're talking about head of state. We're talking about those who make decisions, those who take decisions, those who have been entrusted to be at the position of authority, to make decisions. Let their decision be influenced by the word. What is the word? The spirit of God. Let their decision be influenced by the spirit of God so that they will make and take decisions that is pleasant before God. So right now, blessed viewers, uh, uh, let's pray with the, with the word of God and let's give thanks to God and let's continually uh, pray for all nations, pray for all, all the leaders, pray for all our sundry, Pray for all the youth, all the boys and girls. Commit them into prayer. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you, King of Glory. We worship you. Le bradu she sita kura hata. Le ge she zibra hasa kushe ede. Le she katusta sute kira hata. Le ke tu sakura. Le ke di shahande. Le deere lu brali shakure ede. Le braku she sita kahata sakalire. Le kadu she zibra hande. Zibra du she suka hata. Zibra de she zibra hata. Le ke te 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 sista kahata. Le ke te te zebra du she suka hande. Le bra du she zuta kura hata. Re kata suka kira. Le bra du she zebra hande. E she te sista kira. E le di she zebra hande. E le de ra du she suka. E le di bra hande. Le katu se zebra kushe ke ede. Le kata ta 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 sira. Re kata ta 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 lira. Re kata ta zebra du she suka le bra hande. Re ta katu se kushe ke bra hande. Le kushe suta sira hata. Le bra de she zebra. Le bra du she hata. We pray for those that are in hospital, Lord God Almighty. We declare your faithfulness over those who are in hospital, our Father. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for that faithfulness, Lord God Almighty. May your word reign in their heart, O Lord. We declare that your word locate all our sundry, those who are sick in their body, those who are falling short, those who are feeling, facing any kind of diseases, any kind of infirmities, any kind of affliction. Father, may your word locate their health. May your word locate their body. May they be set free from that disease. May they be set free from that infirmity, Lord God Almighty. We declare your praise over all our sundry. Indeed, we know, Lord God Almighty, that your presence, oh Lord, your presence brings about liberty. Your presence brings about freedom, oh Lord. May they begin to express freedom in all ways of life. May they begin to express liberty from all evil forces of darkness, evil forces of darkness leveled against them. May they begin to express your freedom, Lord God Almighty. Indeed, we will overcome the works of the enemy through the world of the testimony, Lord. And by the prevailing blood of the Lamb, we declare, mighty God, healing upon all those who are in need of healing. Deliverance upon all those who are in need of deliverance, the Lord. We declare breakthrough over those who are in need of breakthrough, Lord God Almighty. As we continue to declare and pray for all the leaders, leaders from different nations, leaders from different countries, leaders from different continents, oh Lord. May your word come upon their lives, oh Lord. May your word come upon their body, Abba Father. We pray for all the leaders, leaders from different countries, God, God Almighty. We pray for all the head of state. We pray for all the presidents, oh Lord. We pray for all the nations, oh Lord. We pray for Sudan, Lord God Almighty. May Sukkot comes upon Sudan, Lord. We pray for mercy over Sudan, Lord. We pray for, Su we pray for Sudan, Lord God Almighty. The nation Sudan, the South Sudan and Sudan, we declare your mercy upon them, O Lord. We declare abundance upon, upon Sudan, O Lord. Nothing is too difficult for you to do, Lord God Almighty. Thank you for what you have done, O Lord. For indeed you have done it, O Lord. You have done it even before we are, even before we come together, O Lord. We know that you have done it, O Lord. Thank you for the price that Lord, our God we pray for Africa as a continent, oh Lord. Mighty God, we pray for oneness in Africa. We pray for unity in Africa. We pray for love to reign in Africa, Lord God Almighty. As we continue to pray for Europe, Lord, we pray for not in South America. We pray for New Zealand. We pray for Asia, Lord. We pray for India, Lord God Almighty. We pray for China, Lord God Almighty. We pray for all the North Americas. We pray for all the South Americas. We pray for, for Australia, oh Lord. In all the 
Samoa Island, in all the islands that you have beautiful created, oh Lord. Mighty God, we pray for them, oh Lord. We pray for all their leaders, Lord God Almighty, as we continue to stand on the gap, declaring war against evil of corruption, corruption that has ruled the heart of leaders. We come against it. We uproot it from its very foundation. Every evil foundation, every corrupt foundation that has been fallen in the heart of leaders, we uproot out as we continue to pray for all the youth, all the boys and girls who love, those that are lying in hospital, we step for the word of the Lord. Indeed, the word of the Lord was sent to locate all our sundry, to locate those in hospital, to locate those in ICU, to locate those in sick bed, those that are in, on, on their homes, right to God, those that are in their homes and those that are lying on their beds, but I will pray for them, oh Lord, life comes to their body, life locates them, the life, the light of God locates their body, the light that set free, the light that set free, oh Lord, indeed, indeed, mighty God, thank you for the life that is in you, mighty God, thank you for the life of the Christ, oh Lord. Thank you for the life that has come upon all men in Kalura Hasta. And that life has become the light. When the light, light of God told us, all darkness ceases from existing. In the life of the body of all those, we Kalura Hasta Kiri. We pray for families that are under the subjection of evil witchcraft, Lord God Almighty. We pray for families, Lord. Families that are under the subjection of evil witchcraft and depletion. We pray, oh Lord, may they be lifted up. May they be lifted up, oh Lord. May they be lifted up, King of Glory. Families that are under the subjection of evil witchcraft. Every evil witchcraft that has subdued families, that has subdued loved ones, we declare right now the light of God comes upon that family. The light of God comes upon that family. The light of God set them free. The light of God lift them up right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All evil darkness has departed right now. All evil witchcraft all has been broken right now. Evil brothers that have dominated that life, evil brothers that have dominated their ways, evil. <coughs> Evil brothers have dominated their health. The light of God set them free. The light of God lift them up. The light of God brings succor upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory, Abba, for them. We magnify your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our Master. Glory to our Savior. Glory to our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, thank you, Blessed Saint. Thank you for praying for us. Uh, thank you for praying with us. Uh, thank you uh, for carrying us in your hearts. And most importantly, uh, thank you for allowing, allowing your life to be a vessel unto honor. Uh, when one avail uh, yourself uh, for, uh, for prayers, uh, the glory of the Lord uh, remains risen over such one. So we thank the Lord God Almighty for this beautiful uh, opportunity uh, of praying to the Father and uh, praying according to his will, according to his uh, riches in glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So right now, we are going to uh, go to straight to the word. Uh, blessed viewers, we are going to go straight to the message. Uh, we apologize for any inconveniences that might have uh, uh, arose in the course of uh, today's live broadcast. Uh, and we are trusting that um, uh, the Spirit of God will lead us uh, into what he has planned for us. Remember, uh, we don't come here on our own. Okay, We do not uh, come to any service on our own. Uh, we come uh, being led, and also when we are led, we are we also being given the utterances. Uh, the Holy Spirit of God gives utterances, so we do not know the direction that we uh, wants to go. Yes, we might have had we might have had uh, had a uh, a, pre a prepared wow well, uh, words to give, but the Holy Spirit. Uh, gives the Holy Spirit leads according to His will, so we are uh, we are at that position where we allow ourselves to uh, to be led, and we believe that uh, as we are being led, so also you that are behind the scene, uh, you that we are watching right now, you that you are streaming, we believe that uh, the same Spirit of the Father will locate you, and He will lead you according to His fullness according to his riches in glory. And um, there is no failure, uh, there is no disappointment, there is no limitation uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, God remains God, uh, God never fails, um, his will will be done. Uh, so right now, blessed viewers, I want us to understand uh, what we've been uh, uh, discussing for the course of this month, uh, through the grace of God, um, and it's about uh, greater glory. Um, uh, the glory of the Lord remain, and uh, the glory of the Lord is upon all those uh, who walk in 
in, in his word. Um, the word of the Lord is alive. The word of the, the word of the Lord is active. Uh, the word of the Lord is full of power and authority. So the question now remains, how does one see the authority of the word? Yes, the word works. The word of the Lord works. Remember, by the, by the power of the spoken word, things came into existence. Now, if you go back to the beginning, uh, from the book of Genesis, as the word of the Lord, uh, as the word was spoken, before the word was spoken, the Bible recorded that the spirit of the Lord overs around the face of the earth. This was in the beginning. The spirit of God overs around the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And the word was spoken. Let there be light. And immediately light proceeded. Many light came forth. Light came forth when the word was spoken. So let there be light. And immediately light came forth. Let there be light. And light came forth. So it means, it means the, 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 the light was in the, was in the life. And the light was in the word. The light was in the life, and the life was in the world. So now, when we go back to uh, John chapter 1, and we take it from verse 3, it says, in him, in him was life. And the light that was in him became the light of men. Now, if you go again to Matthew 5, Matthew 5, Jesus Christ now called us that we are the light of this world. We are the salt and the light of this world. So it means our existence in this world, our, our living in this world, is, is the reason why this world is standing. Because the one who made and the one who created called us the light of this world. Called us what? The light of this world. Now, in, in, in this happening, we understand that God said to Moses, that I'm about to lay waste to the people of Israelite. Now Moses had to intercede. Moses, Moses interceded for the people of Israelite. Moses prayed to the Father to forgive them of their ways, to forgive them of their ways. Moses asked God, and Moses told God that uh, the Israelite for what they have done against God, that God should forgive them, that God is merciful, that God is loving, that God is caring. So Moses was speaking about, he was speaking uh, uh, about who God was. He says, Father, you are, you are loving. God, you are caring. God, you are love. Now, what does that mean? Moses was simply saying to God that you are more than what these people have done to you. You are merciful. You are loving. You are caring. And God said to Moses, you knew me. Meaning Moses understand who God is. Meaning God is loving. God is caring. God is merciful. But what the Israelites were perpetrating, the act by which they are doing, was not pleasant to God. So they could not see or walk in their glory. They could not walk in that glory. They could not walk in that glory. Now, 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 where, where and who did, who can walk in the glory of the Father? Who can walk in the glory of the Father? Who can walk in the glory of the Father? Who, who can walk in the glory of the Father? And what is the glory of the Father? Who are going to go there? But now, the Israelites deny themselves. They deny themselves from walking in the glory of the Father. Now, Exodus 15 says, the Israelites were jubilating and they were dancing, giving thanks to God with aims, saying to God that no one has done what you have done, that indeed you are Lord. You, you sank the chariot, the, the chariot of the soldiers of, of Egyptians. You smitten and killed and killed all the enemies of, of, of the Lord, meaning the Egyptians who were deemed as the enemy of, of Israelite, thus they became the enemy of the Lord. Why? They were they were busy killing, they were busy uh, 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 
uh, destroying the life of Israelites. So Israelites were called the people of God. So now, Egyptians were tormenting Israelites. So now, as they were tormenting Israelites, they were tormenting the people of God. So what awaits them was the destruction which they have dipping themselves in. So the destruction awaits them. So in all they were doing before, and Israelites were absorbing, taking all the punches, taking all the humiliation, taking all the abuses, taking everything that was done against them. Many some of sometimes they were stabbed. If you go read, if you go read the book of Genesis, and also uh, you take Genesis, uh, Exodus, uh, Leviticus, and Numbers, you see how Moses wrote. Moses wrote because Moses was the one who wrote Genesis, Genesis, and most of the old books. He wrote Genesis, Exodus, even though he was not there in Genesis, but the Spirit of God. Remember how this comes to pass. It, it says, only men of God, the book of 2 Peter says, only men of God wrote as they were carried along, as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit of God. The same way Jesus said again in, in uh, John 14, he says, the Holy Spirit, which is whom God has promised unto us so that we can attain the fullness of God. The Holy Spirit of God will remind us. He will remind us. I mean, he will bring us into, he will bring us into the fullness of, he will bring us into the fullness of God. See, he will remind us and bring us into the fullness of God. Now. Hallelujah. Say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Say, I love you, I love you, Master. Okay, now, now. Wow, wonderful. Um, wonderful! Wow, <laughs> I just took a, I just took someone's Bible, and as I opened the Bible, is uh, the Bible is on Isaiah sixty. Wow, wonderful! <laughs> wonderful! Your Bible is on Isaiah sixty. Wow, hey, wonderful! Okay, um, okay, Isaiah sixty. Let's start from there. It's fine. From verse one, it says, "Arise, shine, for your light has come." And the glory of the Lord arises, arises upon you. The glory of the Lord arises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people. Now, this was exactly what happened. This, this that was written here is exactly what transpired in Exodus when it was time for uh, uh, the glory of the Lord to, to rise and for the people to see the glory of God. The Israelites were witness of this glory. They saw thick darkness. The thick darkness, it covers the Egyptian, Egyptian's army from proceeding. And a lightning, like, like a thunder a thunderbolt, stood before them. So they could not proceed. They were, they were held. They were held. They couldn't move forward. They could not proceed. And what transpired when that happened? What happened was this. Moses now had the apple time to declare, to, to stretch forth his fog and command the, the, the sea, meaning the, the sea of the Israel, and the sea, the Red Sea, to part way. Now, understand that sea, Red Sea, Red Sea, head, meaning Red Sea, head, head the voice of the prophet. C was a creation. The prophets stretched forth the staff and see, see, listen, see, listen. C was a creation, meaning C remained a creation. Now we have so many C. I'm not saying now someone should go now and go to the sea and you go to the beach and you and you and you begin now to stretch forth a, 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 a wood or you stretch forth anything or even stretch forth your end and you want the sea to part way and, and you want to see because because um uh sea is a uh, a creation uh, is a creation and the bible says creation wait endlessly creation waits endlessly for sons of glory to manifest so now before you ever try such thing or before you ever want to do such thing you need to what? Become a son. Become a son of God before you ever try such thing. Before you ever do such thing. Now you, you are when you have become a son of God, you will not you will not wait to be told. 
to stretch forth your hand. No, it already is in you. Now, Moses was waiting on instruction. Eh? Moses was waiting on instruction on what, on, what to, on what to do, how to do, where to do. That was Moses. Moses was waiting on that instruction. But now, when you are a son, you do not wait for instruction when you are a son. You do not await instruction when you are a son. You do, you do ask the father because the spirit of the father is in you. So now get to understand how Jesus was led by the spirit of the father and he was doing things as the father would have done. That is why he said, whenever you, when, when I'm here, I'm with the father. The father is in me and in the father. Then also, Apostle Paul always says that Whenever you see me talk, preach, heal people, deliver people, uh, 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 teach the message, preach the message, it is not me. It's, it's no longer I, but the Christ living in me. But now, Moses had to wait. Remember, there was a pressure that was on him. While, whilst he was waiting, there was a pressure that was on him. The Israelites were saying, Moses, 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 what have happened now? See, we are faced with death. In, the, in our front, yes, a, 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 a Red Sea, a beach that, a sea that cannot be crossed, even with both people are, see, are afraid of crossing it. Now, behind them is, is the Egyptians coming with one mission, which is to kill. This was the instruction that Pharaoh gave to them, kill every one of them, both children, and you know there were a lot of children, both their animals, both the women. This was the instruction that Pharaoh gave to them. Now, now what now transpired there? What now, what now happened there? Get to understand that the glory of God is unfailing. The glory of God is of it. Now we are we are about to be taken into a contest of not not being not being a, a work like a servant of God, but come into the domain, into the into the full plan of God, into what into the full plan of God, because God wants God wants you to be a son. When we say that God wants you to be the son, God wants you to be. The son. That's why God gave us the spirit of the son. Our adoption is a, a, an adoption of sonship. It's not an adoption of, of servant or friend, but an adoption into sonship. So now the spirit of God comes to us in the form of the spirit of the son. I mean, the spirit of the father is in the son. It comes to us in the son. Romans 8 says that was the adoption that took place. That was the adoption that took place. That's when one began to arise in Christ. That's when one began to see the glory that is there. Listen, the excellence of the Lord and the fullness thereof. So when God created, when God made, his glory is there. But one has not yet seen that glory, personalize it. And now, now, now some, some have had so many beautiful a beautiful encounter. Many, many have had has had many beautiful, uh, many has many beautiful story to tell. Many has many beautiful testimonies. Many have encountered this glory in one way or the other. But now it is not only experiencing it, but living it is God intended purpose. Your life must be a life of testimony. It is God divine plan. So it's not about testing. And, and still wanting to make a choice. No, living the life that God purposed for, for us. Living the life that God purposed for us. So now the Israelites were unable to live that life that God purposed for them. They were unable to see that life. They were unable to live that life. Why? The decision that they made, because they could not bear the thought of going through the road that, that God Almighty was taking them through. Because now, remember, Moses was led by the Spirit of God. And in that wilderness that they were, they, 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 they found themselves. This was after, after they saw the grace of God, after they bore witness to God's glory, 
the saw sea obeyed uh, Moses. They saw darkness cover the Egyptian's army. They saw a lightning bolt strike like a fire and they could not pass it. They saw all of this with their eyes. No one told them this story. They were witnesses of this. But they make a decision. But amongst them was Joshua. Amongst them was Caleb. Now, just as they also were witness of what had happened, they fear God because every word that Moses says, they hold it in eye in high regards, they held to those words with high regards, meaning they fear God, even though they are yet to experience God personally, but they fear God by holding forth to whatever Moses says and Moses gives. So they were holding on to everything that Moses have said, making sure that they did not go out of line, making sure that they did not go astray from the instructions. They never went out of the instructions. When Moses come and, and say, this is what the Lord says, Joshua and Caleb held to those words. So because they held to those words, the word keeps them. The word keeps them. Remember, they did not meet with Christ as we have met. As we have met. Now, how do I, what do I mean by they did not meet with Christ, but they have the word? Because in the new, Christ came in human flesh. It came in human flesh and it died. It died for you and I. It died for you and I. By his death, we receive the inheritance. Inheritance of what? Inheritance of becoming just like him. I want you to understand this, blessed viewers. Now, we receive what? The inheritance of what? Becoming just like him. Becoming like him. So none of those, like Joshua, who kept to his, who kept the word, Caleb, who kept to his word, but they were not like, they were not like, but they kept the word, and the word kept them. Now, you that you have received Christ, you receive him. You are to be developed, to come and be just like him. Now, now the question now remains now, how, 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 can one become just like him? How can one become just like him? Remember, the glory of the Lord can be revealed through long suffering, through long suffering, through patience, through endurance. How was Christ revealed to even the disciples? The disciples, they were with him. They did not even believe him or heartedly, but they followed him. Wherever he goes, they follow him. Wherever, wherever he's sleeping, they, they goes with him. But they are yet to believe him wholeheartedly. It was after his death, after his death, that they saw the glory. It was after his death that they saw his glory. But there were some who did not follow Jesus the way the disciples follow, but they believed. Some who have already started praying to God using the name of Jesus Christ to, to cast demons, to cast those who are demonic oppressed. But they were not followers of Jesus Christ. But they believed in him wholeheartedly. But the disciples who were with him had not yet believed him wholeheartedly. Not that they don't believe the master, but that they don't believe him wholeheartedly. This is, this is the question that you cannot, you cannot be a Christian and you do, you, 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 can, you do not believe in Christ or know Christ. To know Christ is to be in a relationship with Christ. To know Christ is to have the, his life. His life taking over your life. His life taking over your life. Where your thought is like his thought. Where your deed is like his deed. Because First Corinthians 2, verse 16, when you are in him, who is him? The one that the rulers of this world do not know. He said, we have received his mind. We have received what? The mind of Christ. We have received the mind of Christ. So having his mind, you cannot just speak. 
Because whatever you say, hey, you are representing God. You cannot just act. Because however you act, is it the way God would have had it? In your acting, in your speaking, in your doing, are you doing as God would have done? So these are questions that arises to a person. Now, to work in, in, in the glory of the Father that is there, one has to one, one has to work, come out from that 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 uh, 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 mindset of disbelief. One has to come out from that mindset of uh, 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 of thinking that hey, I failed, I've made mistakes. You need to come out from those mind because Jesus knew there was no failure in the Father. Now, something happened in, in John nine when. He was accused and they pushed him, pushed him, pushed him, pushed him. Their intention was to go and push him to die. Now they push him on top of the mountain. Now, when they got to the cleft top of the mountain, just a single push and Jesus would have fell. When they got there, their hand became stiff, meaning their hand could no longer push. Their hand could no longer push. Their hand could no longer touch him. And what did Jesus did? Jesus boldly walked. He walked in their midst. And as he was walking, they were looking. And he walked them. He never retaliated. He never spoke ill of them. He never done anything against them. He walked in their midst. And as he walked, no one could touch him. No one, no, no one could begin to phantom. How is it possible that we pushed him to the end. Now we could not finish the job. We could not finish the job. That's one thing that we need to, that is part of long suffering. Because individually, as a Christian, you go through issues and still the enemy could not finish you. Now, when we say enemy, like we defined in the beginning, that the enemy could be anyone. But don't look at that person as the enemy. Look at what is coming from the heart and the mouth of that person. Because the, 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 the position that the person did made the person to be available for the enemy to use. The position of where the person is standing made the, the person to avail he or herself for the enemy to use. So you do not look at the person per se. Okay? Do not look at the person, but look at what is behind that person. Look at what is behind that person. Whenever someone is perpetrating evil acts, don't look at the person. Looking at the person is misleading. So oftentimes, maybe people take their battle in a misleading way. Because you are concentrating on someone. Sometimes you have, you, you have pictures of people whom you think they've wronged you. Now you are praying for that person. All along, the person is innocent. Yes, the person might have been used as a weapon against you, doesn't mean that person is the one responsible for the position you are at. Deal with the matter when the, in the sense way, in the right sense way, which is what? Spiritually so. He says, our weapon of warfare is not carnal. So dealing with person whom you love, whom you care for, or calling names to that person, is you are creating enmity between you and the person. But when you address the issue in the right manner, in the simple way of doing things, meaning you are honoring the world. Listen to what the word says here. Now let's quickly go. We're going to come back to uh, Isaiah. Okay, but let's quickly go to let's quickly go to um, Second Corinthians, if we may. Second Corinthians chapter 10, I will take it from verse 3. Listen to this. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. We do not wage war as the world does. So the world that we live in, we do not wage war as the world does. Is, wasn't, it, wasn't it weapons of all kinds, arrows, swords, 
was not what the Egyptian pharaoh army was having on their hand to come and use it against against uh, uh, the people of God, the Israelites. But now what God created was what answered them. What God created was what answered them. But sword was created by men. Remember, sword was created by men. I mean blade, sword, blade, knife. Knife. It was created by men. You know, there are many, many uh, uh, places you can go and you can you can see where those things are being done. There are a lot of places that it does that it does all that. So men's weapon came in, in came to fight <laughs> weapons that they, they have no knowledge or no understanding of. So the moment the moment the, the moment uh, uh, Moses allowed himself to be led, creation, God created. God uh, creation, what was created, answered, answered them, and they were and they were swept underneath the sea. They were swept underneath the sea. Underneath the sea, they were swept and they remained they remained there. So I, 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 I want to I want to, to get this and I, I pray and I know for a truth that you you will get this because God wants us to get this. God wants us to get this. God wants us to know. Begin to understand your position, your position as a believer. Your position as a believer is to come into the, into the right fold of being called a son of God. The son inherits what is of the father. The son gets an inheritance that is of the father. The glory of God that God said to, you see, it was in Exodus, Numbers 14, Numbers 14, even in Exodus 33, Numbers 14, God said something to, to uh, uh, Moses. He said, as surely as I, the Lord, live, my glory shall fill this earth. So where, where is that glory? Where is that glory that filled the earth? Because God is not a man. God is not a man. So Isaiah came in Isaiah 60, he said, arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord has come. The glory of the Lord has come. Arise and shine. So it is our time that one begins to arise from their slumber. It's our time one begins to arise. If you come into that, into that, uh, into, into that fold, into that fold of being called a son, you must arise with the glory of being called a son. Because whatever you do, whatever you say, everyone already stamped it. Authority that is in a, that is above that comes from above is in you. This was what Jesus says. Jesus says, "Whatever we bind here, whatever we bind here on earth is bind in heaven. Whatever we lose here on earth is lose in heaven." Praise the Lord. He said, whatever we bind here on earth, we will be bound on earth. He said, whatever we lose on earth shall be lose in heaven. So God already given us that authority. It's in us, it's within us. So one has to begin to, one has to begin to arise in that authority. One has to begin to arise in that glory of the Lord that's caused one to be risen. Now, 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 let's quickly read the, let's quickly read this. Uh, is 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Let's start from verse 3. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. A Christian that wage war as the world does, a Christian that, that fights fire back to sender to sender, fire to fire. No. The world fights you in this manner. No. You address it in the spiritual manner. Because the first place a person prosper in life is your spirituality. If your spirituality had not yet prospered, your physical, your physical living, your physicality, your physical life, we have we face a lot of we, we face a lot of turmoil. Meaning you will be faced with a lot of discourse in life, meaning you'll be faced with a lot of issues in your life, meaning you will face with a lot of trouble. Yet you are a Christian, yet you are a praying Christian. 
Yes, you are a Christian who fear God. Yes, you are a Christian who observe the things of God. But your life it is self. Your life itself is far from one who carries or who the glory of the Lord has risen with. Because what? You do things as the world does. Jesus says, do you not know that you are not of this world? Jesus said, you are not of this world. So why are you fighting as the world fights? Why are you talking as the world talks? Why do you act in the manner by which the world acts? You see things on your TV and you begin to copy. Worldly things you begin to do. You hear things that has been done in a worldly manner you begin to do. Because you're like, because you're attracted to it. Now you're attracted to the things that are opposite the love of your father, God. Now you find yourself being attracted, attracted, being loved with the things of the world. Now you are causing a discourse between you and your father who is God. Now you become the lover of the world. Now you are you are putting a distance in your relationship with the God with God Almighty because now you, you you are attracted to the things of this world. So that is why you find yourself acting, speaking, waging war as the world does. Meaning, meaning you you are distancing yourself from the unfailing glory. The glory of God can never fail. It is called unfailing glory. When you are distancing yourself from such glory. Listen to this, I repeat. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world. On the contrary, they have divine power. They have divine power to demolish strong odds. So what has divine power? What has divine strength? What has divine capability? What has divine ability? What has divine presence to arrest what is behind the motive of the person who suddenly turned against you? From somebody whom you are in good terms with, somebody you move well with, somebody you spoke well with, someone you eat well with, someone you dine well with, someone you work well with, someone you communicate well with, all of a sudden turns against you and you begin to hate that person. You begin to want pointy finger against that person. It's exactly what the enemy wants from you. It is the position that the enemy wants to place you because now the enemy Enemy knew that the only way if you begin to show hatred and, and perpetrate an act of hatred, now you are becoming like the enemy. What does Jesus say? He said, he said, love those who hate you. Now you are doing against the will of God. Now, by doing against the will of God, you are not of ease. You, he cannot call you a son. Jesus said, if you do my will, if you do according to my will, you are mine. This was what Jesus said. If you do according to my will, you are mine. Only if you do according to his will. If you do according to his will, he said, you are mine. Hmm? Do, you belong, do you belong to God? Hmm? Eh? Are you called of God? Are you chosen by God? He said, if you, if you do according to my instruction, if you do according to my way, hmm, you are mine. So now you see that God is interested in you. You see that God is, is vested interest is on you. You see that God loves you so much. You see that, do you see that, that God loves you so much? You see that God loves you. You see that God loves you. And God has interest. God, God has interest in you. The, the, these things of people saying, God has no interest in me. If, if so, my, my situation wouldn't have been like this. No. What have you done to come in that situation? Have you, have ever, have you ever asked yourself this? What are the decisions that you made yourself to get to that position? But his love is there. The Bible says, his mercy endures forever. It endures forever. His mercy endures forever. So he is there. He is there. 
He is there. Now, now listen to this. He says, verse 4, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strong oaths. On the contrary, they have what? Divine power. Divine power to demolish strong oaths. So we are born of the divine. Born of the divine. So we carry what divine for until when one come into that, into that world, into the fold of being called a son. Now, he says, we demolish argument and every pretension that set itself up. We demolish argument and every pretensions. So when you are when you are busy hating on your brothers, on your sisters, on your colleagues, on your relatives, when you are busy hating on them, what are you doing? You are sowing to, to, to evil seed, meaning you are giving yield to evil ways and evil intention. Because you are busy uh, 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 buying what is evil and what is evil and evil ways. But it says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that set itself up against the knowledge of God. We take captive, we take captive every thought to make it obedience to Christ. We take captive, see, meaning, meaning you are setting not only yourself free, but you are setting that evil that is behind that person, that relative, that friend, that sister, that brother, you are setting that person free from what has made that person to be in captivity. Many are in captivity. Many who do not forgive, they are in captivity. Many who live perpetrating evil wicked acts, they are in captivity. Many who just 